Hello everyone, I am so excited you're with Tunisia Ali, helping you to gain clarity, up-level your mindset, clear and heal energetic blockages, and manifest the glory of God that is certainly you. I am in Flow Villa, Georgia, at North Indian Spring State Park to get some healing water. So I have come here today armed with my 35 gallons, seven five-gallon jugs, and I'm super excited because guess what? No one's here. There's only one guy. Usually, there are at least five, six, seven people, each filling up like me. And so far, he's down there, and it looks like he's been there for a while because he has a lot of gallons. He said he's been there by himself. So I actually procrastinated today because I was waving about coming all the way down here. And something said, it's raining in Metro Atlanta. Go. My inner voice kept saying, go, go, go. And you know how I am about listening to that inner voice, even though I didn't used to listen to it. I listen to it a lot more now. So you guys are gonna get to join me just for a little bit today. And I'm gonna show you what this process is all about. And uh, I can't believe this. I might actually get my water and be done in a few hours, maybe less. Woohoo! So I'm gonna turn the camera around in a minute so you guys can see me as I go further down in here. You can get a feel for what it looks like. As I placed my camera on the tripod, it fell on the floor because the tripod, the little um, selfie stick fell apart. Interesting, right? Amazon better be glad my phone didn't crack. So anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera so you can see. Okay, so, oops, and I just dropped my glasses, my sunglasses. So you'll need to be patient with me. So you go down into this little pavilion kind of area. As you can see, I'm having not only technical difficulties, but physical difficulties as well. Usually I do. I, ha I don't. Most of the time I'm down here by myself in terms of, you know, when I come. So therein lies the problem. But in any way, we're getting ready as soon as I get my glasses situated and get stable. We're going to go down into this pavilion and you'll see the water and you'll see how we have to kind of get it and why it can take so long. It comes up out of the ground. It's the oldest well in the country, I believe, at least the one with sulfur, which is very healing and there are tons of healing stories. May not get many today because it looks like, huh, looks like uh, there are not too many people to get healing stories from. We're going to see if we can talk to this gentleman here and see what he says. All right, so as you go down in here, you'll see what I mean. So how long have you been coming down here? Um, since I was like seven. Really? Yeah. So you really, do, what, what do you feel are the benefits of some of, of the water? I don't know. I just come down, my granny put us on. Right. They told you it's supposed to be good for you, yeah. so you come, right? <laughs> Same here. Usually when I come though, I, there are a lot more people down here. So you get to talk and you yeah, hear true, all these wonderful true. stories. I'm recording. Is that a problem? You sure? Okay. I just wanted to show some of my people what it's okay. like to get this water. But um, I usually get stories when I come down here and uh, it's been about a full year. So I'm not a veteran like you. Okay, yeah, I've been a long time. Yeah. Seven, six, six. So, so is this what only what your kids drink? Uh, for the most part. Yeah. So Good for y'all. Uh, wow. Make Kool Aid out of whatever tea. You know what yeah. I mean? Hi. Hi, so, y'all. Yeah. I think Jahila. Okay, Jahila, and what's your name again? Alec. Alec. Hi, Alec. So it's been a year. I've been coming here since last May. Somebody told you about it? Uh-huh. Yeah, a friend of mine. And I usually, sometimes I'll come with her. Uh, probably maybe 50, 60% of the time I come okay. down here with her. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. It feels good. And the one time I didn't drink it, I got really constipated. I've only, okay. I've been picky about my water for many years anyway. Okay. So I was, prior to that was mostly doing uh, alkaline water anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I, I just love it. So I come here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I like the sulfur, and I know okay. that's very healing. That's it. After you get home, yeah. that's it for a while. I, I drink it with the sulfur. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. The 
but yeah, I do. Um, I like the, the taste of the sulfur only because I know it's supposed to be so good for me. So I always, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you for the gallon. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So when I fill all the way up and I'm about a gallon away, I can use this gallon jug that this wonderful gentleman gave me to top her off. Yeah. And my dad still coming down here. My uncle, he drove, he stayed up in Habersham County. Uh-huh. You know that? How far is Habersham from, from here? Probably like two and a half. Really? Just an hour and a half away from Atlanta. Okay, so two and a half hours from here. Yeah. So he comes all the way here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's serious about this yeah. war. I mean, you know, um, I've heard stories from sickle cell anemia mm -hmm. disappearing or being cured in, a, in an infant child to uh, a man I met who has lived here his entire life. Okay. Literally, he looked like, I mean, he was 60. He was like six foot seven or eight. He mm -hmm. was beautiful, rich chocolate, mm -hmm. dark skin. Mm -hmm. He looked like I mean, he was tall and lean. He looked like somebody from the Fulani tribe in okay. Senegal. Okay. And he came in here and he was telling a little bit about his story um, after sitting and being quiet for some time. And you could tell he, he really was like a griot. He had a lot of history and information. But he said all the men in his family um, had been drinking this water all their life and they all lived over 100. And he was supposed to have his leg amputated, actually. And he decided to really get serious about his herbs and his water. And after that day, he left the doctor's office. He never went back. Okay. His yeah. sister had a story to tell. People have had digestive stories to tell, high blood pressure, mm -hmm. all types of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't know what, what kind of benefits he got from me. Right. Know. Yeah, see, you like, you like me. A word to the wise is sufficient. Yeah. Somebody just tell you once. Yeah. It, they, it down to mm -hmm. down it okay. makes sense. Kids, yeah. yeah, it's doing them some good. I know it is. It's got to be. It's better than the, you know, plastic bottled water. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is wonderful. I can't believe it's it's it's. Now, it's, I, it's I know. So and yeah, the, you probably seen the black Listen, let me tell you. And he his skin was so dark and richly beautiful. Mm -hmm. And he was so tall and lean, and I remember him grabbing my, my jugs, and he was walking like this, and he took them up to the car. He was strong. He was in his late 60s, but he was very lean and very strong. Okay. You could tell he was somebody special. You know, yeah. He's very spiritual, too, yeah, yeah, because yeah. we had a deeply spiritual conversation. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Yeah, so he was always, he, he was saying, you know, healing is, has always been historically at the well, at the water. And so naturally, whenever you come down here, you meet people that are conscious, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly, right. Where you from? I live in, in Snailville, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I come, it takes me about an hour, hour, 15 minutes, but I really wanted the ride today. I thought I was going to come here, plug a bottle in and go sit down by the by the water yeah, and then yeah. come back i expected it to be a lot of people yeah. so i said the next time i'm go i go i'm just gonna yeah. chill yeah. and spend the day down yeah. there call it a day yeah. but now look you just know chill. yeah i can load the water up maybe and then go and get in there who knows exactly yeah, like a rich it, yeah it is it feels so good last time i did that um Oh my gosh, the water was so cold. That night I felt like my feet were still in the water when I went home. Okay. That whole evening they still felt wet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It was it was something. It, it's worth it driving. It's definitely worth okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Forest Park. So how long did it take you to get here? You Yeah, you're a little closer than I am. Yeah. It's definitely worth it though, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at some land uh -huh. on the other side, so I'm just riding. You just riding. You kind of want to live down here? Is that? Yeah, I know. You know, I think about it. I've thought about it. I could actually live this life and let all the busy stuff go sometimes, you know? Mm. I really think about that. And my work is becoming more and more, you know, online anyway. So sometimes I think I just want to be in the country yeah. and be away from everything. Yeah. You don't need someone to rent it once the thing get kind of sick. Listen, <laughs> it already is. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's blissful out here. Every time I, I come through here, I always say these people are blessed. They don't, they, I wonder if they, they realize it or do they take it for granted? 
Just to be out here with all the lush, the beauty. The conscious people don't take it for granted. Yeah. Yeah, the conscious people. There you go. They don't take it for granted, but the well, everyday everybody complaining. Conscious. Yeah, they're, they're conscious well, because they're, they're you know, aware. Aware. you know exactly the aware. Yeah, exactly. Important distinction there. There you go. Yeah, you got that right though. Definitely. How many gallons did you fill today so far? Uh huh. Sixteen, sixteen plus. I think about ten jugs. Okay, so you doing you doing like um about thirty gallons, yeah. like six six of these things, so about yeah. thirty. Okay, looks like you're good to go. Is this your last jug, the one I have, or are those empty? I think. Oh, you. Right oh. So next time, you know, you get it. Oh, so you gonna leave me? This yeah. is a gift? <laughs> now you gotta pay it for it. Somebody okay. let me one before. Yeah, okay. So. Okay, so next time I need to come down here with an extra one so I can pay it forward. That's all, That's all you gotta do. <laughs> oh, I really appreciate that. This is great. I just can't believe how. So you gonna go home with a half. Exactly. Yeah. And I come like roughly about every five or six weeks, maybe. About six. Most of the time. Six, seven. Just depends. Sometimes my girls act like there's something. They don't want to drink the water, and I'm just. So that's the. You know, what the so, you know, like somebody just needs to tell me it's healthy and I'm on it. I'm not going to question it. Exactly. So what do I do? I put some in a glass. Uh huh. Like a wine bottle. A okay. Bottle, a glass, a okay. Bottle. Okay. You put it in the sun, put it in the grass, in the dirt. And that's what you do? Yeah. Okay. So the sun is going to beat it through the glass. It's going to get all the nutrients. Yeah, it's going to get charged. It's going to be sun charged. That's right. That's right. I never put this water in the sun, though, even though I do charge. I'm going to do it in the glass. I charge, yeah, I charge in a. Um, a uh, blue uh, glass uh, okay. bottle. But okay. interestingly enough, I've never, I guess it would take a pretty huge, uh, maybe a gallon jug. Maybe I should start doing that actually. But um, I used to do be religious about charging my water like that. Yeah, yeah now I just char way. charge it with intention. But I, I do want to get some of that sun energy. Uh, put the vegetables, the fruit outside yeah, the sun. yeah, so, that's yeah. right. Got to keep it safe and blessed and all that good stuff. Peoples whose lives you can enrich. <laughs> well, see, I don't want everybody to know about coming. To get There's the abundance in this in this universe. There's enough for everybody. Trust me. There's abundance. You will get yours. Well, there was a gentleman I met here uh, that. His body was rejecting the kidney. Uh -huh. He had had a kidney transplant. And I wouldn't have known it unless he told me. Told me. Wow. He looked perfectly healthy. After he started drinking his water, it helped his body. Really? Adjust to, to a new the kidney. new kidney. That's amazing. So it helped restore the homeostasis within the body. That is amazing. I was saying earlier when I came down here, whenever I come, I hear a lot of different oh, yeah. stories from people. So you said you think it helped you recover from your... From all of the, the surgery that I made. Yeah. Uh, gallbladder, toe amputation. Wow. I, uh, being a diabetic, I started, I wasn't taking my medicine. I had a stroke in 2005. Okay. Wow. And... After that, you know, I started, it just, I was recovered. I was in the hospital. Oh the medicine. Enrique, you hooking me up? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. The diabetes medicine called, called Actos. Okay. Um, I had an allergic reaction to it. And it actually, uh, mess my liver up. You know, the liver can't, you, know, you can't operate on the liver. Yeah. So it, it helped me to, you know, get my liver get back. How long did it take? 
I think, uh, let's see, I was in the hospital. This all this happened in 2005. Uh -huh. I had the stroke in June. Okay. And then 30 days later, I got medication for it. Mm -hmm. So all of that stuff, 2005 was a rough year. Sounds like it, yeah. I was, I was back. You see, I do attend an exercise class three times a week, and I was back exercising before the year was over. That's amazing. Yeah, so it's doing, it's, uh, oftentimes people ask me, has it helped me? And I, I'll say, well, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm a healthy individual already. I don't have anything I particularly complain about. I think it helps me, my digestive tract. But if it's helping us physically, it's definitely helping us internally. So it's helping us in a lot of ways even that we're not even aware of. Yeah, that's, that's, that's invaluable. But my, uh, my pastor, his family, uh, his grandmother, grandfather, I think his father and mother both uh, grew up in Forsyth. Mm -hmm. So that's, they've been drinking the water all their life. I think he said his grandmother lived to be like 90 something. Yeah. You probably heard of my pastor, huh? Nathaniel Brown of Jimmy. Okay, no. Brown of Brothers, you ever heard yes, of Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay, wow. So that sounds like you, Enrique, with, um, Enrique's been drinking the water, you said since seven, right? Yes, yeah, since, yeah, since, yeah, since he was very, very young, and, and so. I, I would imagine if, if one stopped drinking it for a period of time, you probably notice a oh, difference. Yeah, I won't go down. yeah, that's when I, I've been, it's just been a year for me, but I'm committed to coming down here, regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm coming. If I see them at like five gallons, I'm, I'm on the way. Yeah. It's time to go. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate you sharing, though, both of you. I know Enrique, and what's your name? Uh, Tim. Tim, thank you, Tim. I appreciate that feedback. Needless to say, coming to get water today was a wonderful choice. It's been about an hour and 15 minutes. This is the shortest time ever that it has taken me to get 35 gallons of water. At any given time, there, were no, there was no more than two people down there. And the last gentleman that you just saw that I was speaking to who had diabetes... He had his son to carry all of my water to the car, and the gentleman before him, Enrique, who you saw me talking to when I first started the video, he and his son carried the others, so I made out like a bandit today. The only thing I didn't get to do was to go and sit by the water and relax because it is raining. So this was wonderful. I'm going to have to do this again. The importance of drinking healthy water cannot to be underestimated. Do everything that you can to give your body the best water that you possibly can. If you find yourself drinking out of plastic water bottles, at least take the extra step and get a stainless steel container or water bottle. Or if not doing that, put your water in a copper urn and let it charge. Definitely, 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 if you can avoid the plastic, do it as much as possible. The other thing you should always be doing with your water is charging your water with intention. Now, we know those of us who've been in and out of different religious circles, we know that we're always taught to uh, say God's name over our food. We do that as a matter of ritual, but I don't know necessarily if we realized until maybe the last two or three decades that there's actually a scientific benefit to doing that, which oftentimes what we have found has come through or been handed down in terms of wisdom from religious uh, ideologies a lot of times we do those things and we don't always understand why for example there are many Muslims who eat with their hands There's many traditions you will find the Ethiopians eat injera with their hands that is actually 
uh, it's cultural, but in many instances, it has become a religious aspect or it's become a religious moray, so to speak. I don't want to get too much into that, but we now know that the hand submits certain enzymes that actually help digest the food. So there are a multitude of things that we may be doing in our reality, and we don't always understand what we're doing, but the importance of blessing your water, the importance of showing gratitude for your water, whether you state it uh, emphatically and externally, or you do it internally, or you write something alongside your water bottle that says thank you, or that says wonderful healing water, or whatever it is, it actually changes the molecular structure of your water. There's been research that has been done by Dr. Emotu, I think Masuru, you can find it online. It's not even new research. I think it's probably within the last decade or so, but he was able to show the impact of intentions on water. And we know, those of us who do magic, y'all already know that when you, we, we know that earth and water are receivers, right? And we know that fire and air release energy. They transmit energy. But being that, that being the case, we also have surmised and we also know that water holds the frequency of intention. Intention is very serious, you guys. Intention is what creates your reality. You are intentionally manifesting things all day, whether you realize it or not. So the intentions that you put into your water each time you drink it mindfully definitely do matter. In this particular study, you were able to see where um, sewer water, the molecular structure, the hexagonal nature of it, the, the snowflake-like attributes of water when it is healthy when it is vibrating with life that was able to be seen um at a uh, uh, microscopically and you're able to see how any any item especially something like water can be transformed through intention so as you work with your water the the more mindful that you can be about the quality of the water you drink the more mindful you can be about positively charging it whether or not you're drinking water from a healing well like where i'm going you can still positively charge your water today's quality of life people is all about intentional living every single thing that we do we have to begin to do it intentionally because if we begin to do everything that we do intentionally number one it's going to slow us down number two it's going to align us with our magician our inner alchemist as i like to say and it's going to make you be uh, a lot more attuned to what it is that you're creating in each and every moment, whether it's going to the car, wh whether it's washing dishes mindfully, whether it's eating mindfully, which actually aids digestion. Eating mindfully literally has an impact on your gut. So just take my advice um, and start to really think about what it is you want to say to your water when you drink it. Maybe you need to send it to a particular part of your body for healing. The water uh, research is showing uh, or has shown in the past that water can hold a frequency up to 12 hours. And who knows, it could be beyond that. But for sure, once you charge it, it's very, very powerful. And if you notice, I think I have a video. And now that I think, shout out to Victor, Vincent, I'm sorry. Shout out to Vincent. I do have a video on, if it's not going to be on this channel, it'll be on the other channel, Butterfly Transformations, where I talk about the importance of charging your water in the sun. Okay, I think he calls it sun-kissed water. But anyway, this is, this is, you know, you're charging your water the same as you would put it out in the sun and allow the sun's powerful energy to charge it. The same way you would put it in the moon and allow the moon's energy to charge it. You can put items out into the sun intentionally and have them be charged the same way we clear our crystals under the moon. Uh, we clear our crystals, um, our tarot cards, our water, anything, the same as you can plant something under the earth to cleanse its energy and to charge it. So this is powerful stuff, guys. This is all science. So anyway, I'm going to be closing out and I'm just sending y'all all the love that you deserve that I hope that you get today. If you didn't get it yesterday, I hope you get it today and you most certainly will intend to get it tomorrow. I hope you have a beautiful, peaceful, and productive day. Productive day. Be abundant because you are abundance. It is your divine birthright. It is a moral imperative. Mwah. Lots of love to everybody. Bye. I forgot to add in the midst of setting those intentions when you drink your water. I also 
do Reiki on my water when I'm in a very mindful place. I'll stop and do Reiki on my water. Um, and that is also something that's very effective for all of you all who are practitioners. But even for those of you who are not, Reiki, there's no monopoly on Reiki. Everyone has life force energy that they can direct from within themselves. Reiki just sort of turns it on or it makes you conscious of it. So put your hands, wrap your hands around your water and just see yourself sending light to your water. And I guarantee you, your water is going to taste lighter. It's going to feel more delicious on your tongue. And as it goes down and does whatever it is that you intend, you yourself too are going to feel so much better.